Hello, everybody. Andy Roman here, promoting my book, Get Real, Get Well, The Power of Authenticity to Heal. Today, I'd like to start off by remembering somebody that I met years ago. His name is Sidney Girard. He's a therapist who wrote a book called The Transparent Self. And he said in that book, you can determine a person's mental health by the degree to which they authentically reveal themselves to another person. And I, I find that really profound and it's a really cool definition of mental health. That means, you know, and I wanna say the opposite. Uh, there's a saying in AA, which goes like this, you're as sick as your secrets. And so there is some understanding in these varied fields of interest that lying and deceiving and withholding are not healthy. And then the opposite, self-revealing, being honest, and actually being vulnerable are actually good for our health. You know, normally in our culture, in our Western culture, and especially American culture, it seems like we value being strong, being like the Marlboro man, independent, self-reliant, and, you know, strength is good. The, even that measure of strength is all right. But that's not the full measure of what it is to be human. And it really negates so much potential, so much of the true inner resources that we as people carry to, to improve the quality of our lives. And I'm saying in my book, I'm saying that to be honest, to be authentic, not only improves the quality of our lives, but actually can heal wounds, not just emotional wounds, but also physical ailments. You know, that's, I said this in my last little video, this is magical information. You know, it's time to, to get to it. Once you get to it, you can get through it. And I'm committed to the process and I know that I, I want help, I seek out help, and I offer help. So that's the way it goes. You know, part of the design, in my opinion, part of the human design is that we have the need for help built in. We cannot see our own blind spots. We cannot see certain things about ourselves that we've tucked away into our own unconscious as a way to protect ourselves from some kind of pain. We humans, I'm convinced that we humans don't follow the pleasure principle the way Freud said. We more prevalently follow the avoidance of pain principle. So that means when we're little especially, what do we do to avoid pain? We have to hide it. We have to tuck it away into the recesses of our own unconscious mind. And then we end up carrying these things that are self-sabotaging and and then in other ways not so subtle i mean more subtly just undermining our own happiness we lower the ceiling of what we let ourselves have you know we dial the joy dial way down and if i have a day with no conflict that's a great goal but i'm telling you in my opinion the purpose of life isn't to create a conflict-free life. I'm not saying seek out conflict, but I think more dynamically and more accurately, we're here to grow and learn and stretch. That means going into new territory. And ultimately, that means being vulnerable and not being a master of whatever it is. To be new means to be like a child. And, you know, I remember some kind of a quote you know, some famous person said to, in order to get to the kingdom of heaven, you must be like a child, have a guileless heart. You know, is that really our destiny? And is that really possible? You know, in, in a way, it takes more undoing than it takes doing to, to get there. And that is, I said this last time also, this is a noble path. I'm here to help. I want help. Let's just get with it. And so I am promoting my book, Get Real, Get Well, The Power of Authenticity to Heal. 
I am looking for people who want to translate it into other languages. So contact me at andy at deepfeeling.com. Okay, thank you. I love you. Peace out. <laughs>